we'll guide you through how to make a mod pack for Minecraft. If you find this guide useful then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So first of all go and quit off Minecraft and then what you need to do is go and open a web browser. Now just before we get any further, a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting. They're my go-to Minecraft server host. They've got so many awesome features like DDoS protection, 24-7 support and servers. So what this means is, is that your server is always going to be online and also you can get support anytime you need it. So if you're trying to do something with your server, you can get help. When you get your server and you purchase it, it's going to be instantly set up and you can also have one click install mod packs as well. So if you're interested, there'll be a link down below in the description and the pinned comment. But to continue with the guide, what we're going to use to go and make these mod packs is something called Curse Forge. So all you need to do is go and search Curse Forge like so. And this is basically a mod website, but it's got a launcher which we can use to make mod packs. I'll guide you through the whole thing. So here we are, and then all you need to do is go to the top right and click on Get Curse Forge App and go and click on Download Standalone like so. It is important to note though that you do need to have Minecraft already installed for this to go and work. Without Minecraft sort of owned and installed, it's not going to. As you can see, I've now downloaded it, and what you need to do is go and open up your downloads, find the installer and double click on it, and then we can go through the steps now. So what you'll need to do is press Next, and you can then choose the installation folder. You'll need to accept the terms of service and privacy policy, which I already do, I'll press next, and then press accept and install. Just make sure you read all through it. And then all you need to do is go and wait for this to finish downloading and it should automatically install. It's a super straightforward process. Now here we are in Curse Forge. First of all, you need to come over to the left and go and select Minecraft like so. You may go and see some other games and these are other games which you've got installed which CurseForge works with. For example here I've got Power World. But anyways, once you've got Minecraft selected, I actually have got some mod packs here already and this is because I have used CurseForge before but don't worry it's fine. You want to go and click on Browse. So by default mod packs will be selected, so what you can do is install other people's mod packs and other mod packs um, just by clicking install, but of course in this case we want to go and create our own. So where it says mod packs, click there and you can go and select mods. Now what you can do is start browsing through these mods and deciding which ones you want to be in your mod pack. Now one thing that you should know is that mods can be for different versions of Minecraft and you can go and see the version just here. As you can see this is for up to 1.20.4 but some are going to be for older versions of Minecraft as you can see. So yeah just note that down not all mods are going to be able to be working on the same version and you may need to go and use older versions of Minecraft for it to go and work. I'm going to start with the just enough items mod so go and click on install and you can then click on create a new profile. Name this what you want, I'm going to name this guide around pack and then go and click create like so. Now it's going to start installing everything so just go and wait. And just like that we've now gone and added it and it's for version 1.19.2. So now I can go and browse for more mods, I just need to keep in mind that they'll need to be working for 1.19.2. Now let's say I want to go and add the mouse tweaks mod, I can go and click on it and then go and click on versions. And then what you want to do is scroll down here and you can start seeing the different versions. As I said, I'm using 1.19.2 and Forge and this matches requirements here. So I can then go and click on install and select a profile and I can then go and select the pack. And then I can click install like so and it will then go and be added. And you can just go and keep repeating that and just make sure the mods are for the same version. And then you can come to my mod packs and find it and you can go and click on play. And then it's going to go and launch. The Minecraft launcher has now loaded, just come to the left of play and as you can see we've got the guide realm pack selected and we can press play, you'll need to agree to the risks as we've modified it and press play again and it should then go and launch. Here we are in Minecraft and just to show you in the mods we've got the just enough items mod and also the mouse tweaks mod and of course you can go and add more as well. So if you guys found this useful then please consider subscribing and liking the video for more.